Hello everyone, farmers and aspiring farmers. Wari Momoshai hapa tena. And today to Komahali kuna ito Isinya near Uma University. Here we've done drip irrigation for our clients and they, have, they just transplanted onions a month ago. And the aim of this visit is to be able to answer a few questions today. So the number one question we get asked a lot is, which type of irrigation is best for farming onions? One, kuna njia mingi za kufanya irrigation in your farm. Ya kwanza kuna the most common one, the traditional one, which is faro or basin irrigation. And also there is overhead, but, and there is also drip irrigation. But drip irrigation is the most outstanding one kwa sababu nile, we call it precision irrigation. Kwa sababu ina irrigate maji mahali, ina far. And onion, haitaki maji mingi na itaki maji kidogo. So with drip irrigation, inakuwa imekufeva into that and you also increase production per unit area. So that beats the other types of irrigation and makes drip irrigation the best. So the other reason that drip irrigation is ideal for onion farming ni kwa sababu it gives you the ability to control the amount of water you want to irrigate per day compared to sprinkler or farrow. Kwa sababu when you're doing sprinkler with onions as it akangi that very moist climate. So with sprinkler inafanya kuna kuwa na a moist, moist climate kwa farm and that causes fungal infections. And in return, it will make you as a farmer ukona nunua pesticide ama insecticides mingi za kukontrol this fungal infection. So that is where drip irrigation is very, very ideal for your onion farming. Kwa sababu, when you're controlling the amount of water, that means you're able to control the attacks, that is the fungal infections that may arise due to over irrigation or the dumping off that may arise due to overwatering of your onion farm. So the most common types of onion, um, uh, varieties of onion, zenye zinatumika in Kenya, kuna Neptune, kama yenye mepando in this farm is Neptune. There is also Red Wave, kuna Ruset, kuna SV, na kuna Malbec. His on the, the very common ones. So the one you plant in your location, it is dependent na one, ni which soils ziko uko ama which climatic region cause iso ecological vari va variations kwa locations ndiyo pia zina determine utapanda kitungu gani in which region ya Kenya. E, pia muna tulizanga about how many times should I water my farm, how many times should I irrigate my farm. So the number of times you irrigate shamba yako inategemea na different things. One, ni type of soil. Because the type of soil that iko in your area ina determine the number of times. Kwa sababu kuna ile soil enye ina retain maji at a higher capacity na kuna enye pia ina lose maji at a higher capacity. So these factors really determine the number of times you get to irrigate your farm. The other factor is the type of weather. You know sometimes it is very hot, sunny and windy. When it is sunny and windy, you find that the rate of evapotra evapotranspiration is very high. So that means you have to irrigate longer than you normally irrigate when it is not sunny. So those are some of the key factors that determine the number of times you irrigate. Pia kuna iswali mnaulizanga about nutrition and spraying my onion farm. So about the nutrition, how many, how you feed. Nutrition is about feeding and spraying is about the insecticides, about the fungicides. So this, this, uh, this is determined by mostly the soil test, soil analysis reports of your farm. Ukisha pata your soil analysis, ndio ita determine how you're going to feed, the type of fertilizers you're going to feed and also the types of these insecticides and uh, fungicides that you're going to use for your farm but mostly it's the type of fertilizers you're going to suit to use because it's going to be influenced majorly na hiyo soil report analysis ndio maana kama mkulima before wanze kukulima it is advisable ufanye soil testing in your farm for you to be able to know the components of your soil 
pia mnatulizanga nikipanda half an acre nikipanda an acre nikipanda 3 acres nitatoa yield inatoshana aje ama nitatoa tonnage inatoshana aje this one also depends on how you fed your farm like umetunza shamba yako aje kwa sababu ukitunza ndio pia itakutunza kulingana na mazao itakupea for instance for half an acre it is, should give you between 4 to 6 tons kama umeifeed vizuri an acre ranges from 15 to 22 tons depending on how well you feed your onion utunze when it comes to irrigation make sure you irrigate it timely and with the right amount of water when it comes to fertilizer make sure you give it in the light right quantities when it comes to insecticide and pesticides spray it in the right times right days without skipping and with that it is also going to kutunza at the end of the day when it is harvesting day na maximum production as we say farming is not always about the size of the land it is also about maximizing the resources you have in the farm in order to increase production per unit area so drip mostly tunatumia ya onions ni 15 cm but also pia 10 cm in a work because onion you space it karibu karibu but also the spacing you do for onions is majorly dependent na market yako yondo ina influence uneka spacing kiasi gani whether you want it to have big bulbs or small bulbs na pia tunaangalishanga drip line juu ndio kuzuia isipshike mchanga ianze kukua na a lot of blockages and as you can see this onion ukiangalia katikati ni kama kuna weeds mingi so it's because it's recently been to me apply fertilizer so that's why unapata kuna weeds mingi so hii hapa tunaita hydrant ni ya kukontrol maji so unapata this one goes to this side and this one is for this other side and as you can check over we have several of them the reason we have several is to ensure that your water or your farm is irrigated uniformly. So you have we have divided into several sections to ensure that every line mahali kuna drip line in a patamaji kutoka mwanzo mpaka mwisho uniformly. Kwa sababu when you don't water uniformly, that means you're going to have stunted growth. Kuingine kutakuwa kuna grow vizuri, kuingine ina grow pole pole. So to ensure that we subdivide water uniformly across the whole farm. Are you an aspiring farmer or an already existing farmer and you would like to be assisted with information or advice in regards to farming? Uneza tutembelea pale utawala, Aqua Hub Kenya tuko karibu na Lexo petrol station ama pia you can call us on the number below and you can also visit our website www.aquahubkenya.co.ke the link to the website is on the description box you can be able to go on the farmers insight section and you're going to learn more about our services about our products and also we give information on the types of crops you can grow in a greenhouse or the others that can do well under open field irrigation. 